Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce. Welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. Reply guys are coming down in the chat. And because Eric July is too busy packing up our stuff to send it to us, I'm going to start responding to these guys because what in the absolute hell? This guy came in, thought he dropped some hot fire, and then when I called him out on some stuff, he changed what he said. But that's okay because I got the screenshots to prove it. So without any further ado, today's beer is the uh, Nordic Jam by Two Pitchers Brewing. It is a lager with cherries, elderberries, and strawberries. So, let's do that. Oh my god, it's like heaven on my tongue compared to what I've had for the last week. Oh my god. Oh, it's so good. Okay, yeah, no. So, if you guys can get that one. Ooh, this camera focuses nice. Ooh, I like my new camera. Go do that. And without any further ado, let's get into the reply guys. Now, the reply guy decided to come in on my Toph video where, because some Twitter people were acting a fool saying, Toph is woke, Toph is woke. You know, Toph is always woke. You guys just didn't know what woke was. And it's like, no, Toph wasn't woke. And in that video, I describe the reason that Toph isn't a woke character is because she wasn't designed with intersectional feminism, cultural Marxism, which would be things like critical race theory, critical gender theory, things like that, right? And so this guy comes on and decides he's going to drop some hot fire because he's just so much smarter than I am. So let's see what he had to say. From Usher2207, three hours ago. Oh, and he edited a bunch of stuff too. He edited. Oh, he made all kinds of edits. I love seeing this. All right. This isn't retconning a character. You guys have been calling the act of making strong females character whose entire personality revolves around rejecting gender roles and being strong female characters woke for years now. Stop moving the goalpost. Uh, no, we have not. We have been calling out all of the female characters who are written with gender ideology in mind okay and in those stories those women aren't strong because all the men around them are stupid and weak strong female characters can stand up with the strong male characters so i responded no we've been calling characters who are designed around intersectional feminism and critical theory woke there is a major difference that you don't seem to recognize one is ideologically driven one is human nature driven this one here he actually went i'm gonna pull it up too because he actually went and he fucking changed this he edited this because i called him out on his bullshit this is great so he says uh and this is his edited one right this is what he edited oh i'm so excited that he backed down like a little bitch oh that makes me so happy all right, had a drink with crazy. This character literally was designed around feminism. Her entire personality involves being the exact opposite of every single gender role. Uh, they shove it in your face as much as possible. No, they actually don't. They show that she was actually a typical tomboy. She had crushes on other characters in the show, and she was also envy envious of the motherly attitude that was displayed by Katara. So watch the show again and see how she interacts around her crush, around other females, and so on, and you'll find out she... It wasn't a feminist character. Just because you like it doesn't mean uh, this isn't the case. And the term cultural Marxist is, uh, is a known anti-Semitic dog whistle. Really? What did you say before that? Because I responded, please, because mine's not edited here. I said, please do not get uh, anti-Semitic in comments sections. Uh, also, uh, back then we just called him a tomboy, which was a typical phase for most young girls to go through and still actually is. So this little bitch decided to change his fucking words. Let's read what his original words are. And you can see here, here's the replies. I took the screenshot on my phone. This character is literally designed around feminism. Her entire personality involves being the exact opposite of every single gender role. And they shove this in your face as much as possible. Just because you like it, that doesn't mean uh, this isn't the case. And stop blaming Jews, cultural Marxists, for everything. It's pathetic. So this guy decided to come out and drop some serious racial slur shit. Okay, by attributing poor ideology to a race and culture of people. And when I called him out on it, like the little bitch that he is, he fucking went and changed it thinking he can hide it. Well, guess what, motherfucker? The internet's forever. And every time people start doing this shit, I'm screenshotting it. I should have actually, one of the most racist things that was ever said on my channel was about Eric July in that first Eric July video that I did, and I didn't screenshot it, and I should have, and I feel bad, so that's why I'm screenshotting this. This son of a bitch came in and thought he was dropping hot fire, but when I called him out for being the freaking stereotypical 
fucking racist that he was or anti-Semitic that he was because he's the one that starts dropping some shit. He goes in and decides he needs to delete it. What a catastrophic little pussy. I cannot, I, I cannot fucking stand these people. They try to come in and they try to change the definition of woke. You don't understand woke. Because you, you think that you don't understand it. That's not what it meant at all. Because we have literally destroyed it. You think we don't understand woke? We know exactly what it is, where it comes from, its roots, how it was taught, how it came into fruition through several different areas of similar discipline being taught at the university level, and we are absolutely tearing up that fucking woke ass online. And for some reason, you have to come in here, get racially charged in my comment section, and then have the puss ass fucking balls to delete it. You need to fucking knock that shit off. No, if you want to know what woke is, you're woke because you can't fucking stand up when somebody actually calls you out on your bullshit. When somebody called me out on my bullshit, I went public on my fucking channel, apologized for it, and made sure that I corrected the record because I went and educated myself. I've done it several fucking times, but you, you've got to go and just change it for the public. Well, guess what? This shit's getting posted on my fucking YouTube and my Twitter, and I'm screen capping everything. So that way, let me go screen cap your little edited bullshit. So that way you can't go and delete it. I was wondering why I couldn't see all the comments before, and now I get it. Now I understand why I couldn't see the comments before, because you had to go in and change it like a little bitch and run away like you are and that shit and i don't usually like to call names and stuff because it's just you know it, it's just not the fucking thing that i like to do but when people pull this shit so yeah guess what user 2207 your anti-semitic your anti-semitic shit is getting posted all over the fucking internet i am so glad that you came in here and thought that you were gonna drop some fire fucking woke tracks because you think that you can pull historical revisionism on a guy who literally lived through the shit and watch how your narrative was crafted for the last, like, ten years. That's fucking hilarious. I think it's hilarious when these guys come out and think they're going to do something like this. This was, oh, oh, this, ooh, I fucking love that you came into my comments section and dropped that and then changed it to try to hide it. Oh, that makes me fucking happy. I love it. So thank you so much for coming in, showing the world your true colors, and I hope that one day you will wake up and realize the folly of your ways. But for all of those out here who enjoyed this video, thank you so much for checking out A Drink With Crazy. I appreciate all of you being here. If you guys want to see me drop fire on these woke assholes some more, whenever they come into my comment section, I plan on doing that. In fact, there's a very long one that there might be some thought into it, so I might treat that guy a little bit better than this guy. Because he went and edited his stuff, but he went through and like made it longer. So who knows? Maybe there's more to that one. But we'll see. If you guys like what I'm doing here, don't forget to drop a like, leave a comment, and I read every comment on my channel that was done from the week's previous videos on Sundays. So if you want your comment read, drop a comment on this video. And don't forget to subscribe. We're on the road to 800 subscribers. Some people have even said this channel could one day hit 1,000 subscribers. I say nay because I don't think that that... I don't think I would be that popular ever. But who knows? Maybe we'll find out. Let me know. What do you guys say? Do you guys say yay or nay to a thousand subscribers on a drink with crazy? Let me know and I will see you next time. Cheers, everybody. Thank you for watching a drink with crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.